What's up guys, it's Miss T Lovely coming at you with my week 36 post-up update. Um, now, first of all, before I get into this here update, um, this has nothing to do with WLS, just give me a second. But those of you who watch The Voice, am I the only one that was screaming at the television, what's wrong with all of you guys except CeeLo? You know, he's the only one that picked the person that should have stayed. People are saying that shouldn't even be there. I don't know, maybe looking for the other dogs this year. But anyway, I was not happy about that. Don't get me on all the other reality shows. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Whew. I wasted two hours of my life. And I don't appreciate it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, moving on. So, this is actually going to be a real serious video. I'm about to get naked, y'all. Not literally, because I don't want to, you know, nobody want to see that. I don't want to scare nobody. And... No, it's just a joke, you know. Um, when I say naked, I mean as transparent as I've been in a as I've been in a long time. Now, you guys that have followed me since day one, you know that I've put my whole everything out here, put my heart into my videos, and there's nothing, um, nothing is 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 on hold. Nothing is on pause. And today, I'm putting that out there again. Um, so, for many reasons. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so just bear with me. Okay? Um, <laughs> so, but for real, this week, let me get right into numbers real fast before I move on. Um, last week, last week, last week, last week I weighed 291.6. Um... This week I'm 290.7 for a total loss of 0.9, just shy of an ounce of a pound. Um, and from my highest weight of 378 to now 290.7, that's an 88.1 pound loss. Now that's all good and dandy, y'all. Um, a loss is a loss. And I've always told myself that I will never complain about a loss. But I will tell you guys that I've been disappointed. And here is where it's like my cry out. Um, in all honesty, at this point in my journey, I really need my family. I need you guys for many reasons. Um, number one, I never mentioned this, and I don't know why I keep slipping my mind, but I guess today is the day to do it. Um, since my husband's got out of the military, it's been very hard for us to find medical insurance and dental coverage for us, especially me, because I'm considered to have a pre-existing condition, not just with my band, but with my weight in general. I've had people tell me, uh, insurance companies tell me you need to at least get down to 230 because your height to weight ratio, your BMI is off. Don't get me into BMIs because that is so incorrect. I did a study on that back in my first year of, of college and I realized, and if those of you who do your studies, look it up, Google. Google is the bomb. Um, if you are the correct BMI, quote unquote, congratulations. You're the average size of a German man or woman. German. German man or woman. Real talk. If you want to get into that later, let me know in a comment. Speaking of comments, um, I have to be honest with y'all family. Now, y'all know Miss T. Lovely is normally right on top of my comments. But this last week, I have to be honest. I took a break. And the reason why my last video was posted was because it was my flip. I needed my room. You know, but otherwise, I probably wouldn't have posted it. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Now, y'all know that Miss T. Lovely's had some haters. I've had some consistent. I've had a person that, you talking about consistent hateration? And I'm just saying, like, it's not, it's, it is what it is. I'm not bothered by it because they recently just, literally just stopped after the last three videos um, posted. But talking about dedicated hateration. You know, but eventually one day they might become extinct. So, you know, whatever. But um, with what I've been going through with my body, um... I was already at a breaking point, and I'm being honest with you guys. This is why I feel like I have a smaller loss this week. Um, it, it could not, it probably couldn't be, but I'm, I'm saying, you know, I took a lot of notes here, you guys, and I'm gonna share those with y'all in a minute. But probably said a whole bunch that I already wrote down. Miss T. Lovely has always been, before this particular journey, a perfectionist. I'm a very strong-minded person, very strong-willed, very opinionated, all these things. You guys that know me know that, know me personally know that. Um, but see, I try to do it out of love, and this situation has really humbled me. Okay, Misty Lovell, what the heck are you talking about? What I'm talking about is I 
have been guilty of for the past two weeks, from week 34 through 36, something shifted in me. Something shifted in the sense of who I used to be. And I don't like this part of myself. And that is perfectionism. Perfectionism, perfectionist is a recipe for disaster. Wanting everything to be perfect, you know, um, starting to really zero in on things about your journey that you once didn't 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 worry about or um, isolate. Um, and I think it really started happening when I started to see some fluctuations, um, smaller losses. You know, this is not a race because when I get to where I'm going, I'm gonna get there and I'll still be there no matter how long it took me. You know. Um, to combat what I've been feeling, I began to look at people who are at goal. Um, and I'm thankful to those of you who are in the community. You know who you are. I don't need to name names. But there were a few people that stuck out to me that I, um, in the beginning of my journey when I was researching, looked at. And then a few of you I've grown to know personally and love. Um, but anyway, make a long story short, uh, I looked at them and where they were. And a lot of them were... You know, some people had greater losses, some people had lesser losses, some people, and this is not a comparison, you guys, don't get me wrong, I'm just being real with every single thing, every notion um, I'm putting out here. And um, a lot of people were right here. You know, my level of restriction, it varies sometimes day to day, um, sometimes I don't have an appetite, sometimes now it's to the point where I, I fight, I fight my body so much. Like I, I'm pushing past my soft um, stops. That's not good for a banster. I'm the same person who said not too long ago, if you're pushing it to the limit, if you're eating up the world, you can call them slippage, you know? And I, I, I am I am confessing. So at this point in, in this juncture of my journey, I'm saying to everybody that watches my videos, we're about seven minutes in, I hope y'all still watching. Um, I need your help. Because you guys, because I have no medical insurance, you guys are my, um, my uh, psychiatrist. I have to, you're my support. So for those of you who have been watching me, and I'm going to just be real with y'all, you got to a point where, you know, look, I'm going to watch Miss T. Lovey's video, even if it's a second or a minute or two minutes or the whole video, I'm going to watch what I, I'm going to watch, and I'm going to walk away. Please don't do that. If you can't comment, press the thumbs up button. Just let me know you're around to let me know that I have my support net. I am telling you straight up, I need my family. You know, I need you guys to come out the book so I can get out of my head. You know, granted, this is a personal thing that only I can grip, but I've been hearing that little tiny voice in your in, in all of our heads. And I, if I'm the only one that's nuts, then I'll be that. Um, that says, you can't do this. But guess what? Even with that little voice, I am still fighting. I am still pressing. I am still hitting my gym. I, for for the last three weeks, now for, you guys know for eight months, I was consistent, or seven and a half months, and I just started doing it. Look, I ain't got time to do numbers, but um, basically over the past four weeks, I've been consistently working out four times a week. Previously, I worked out three times a week um, for those months, but now it's four times a week I've been consistent. But I'm consistently working out that hasn't stopped my whole journey. And that is more than likely what's saving me. But my going over my calories every now and then, pushing past my soft stops, have to stop, you guys. And um, if you cannot relate to this, I'm just be real. Please don't comment on my videos. It's to that point where, you know what, this is my channel. And I, just as well as I give support, I'm telling you I need it from the bottom of my heart. And I appreciate all those who do who genuinely do care and, and, and want to see people prosper because I'm doing this video for two reasons. Number one, for me, because I will get past here because I'm reaching goal no matter what. I, that, I say that by faith. By faith, my name is, my band's name is Faith, and by faith in what I believe. I am pushing and pressing forward. So if anybody is going, to go, is going through this now or if anybody is going through this in the future who see this video down the line because um, that's what helped me. You know, I got to go back at people who are at goal and see where they were right here. And, you know, they did the same thing. And I think by owning it and by putting it out here, I can free myself from it in, in, a, in another way. Um, but here's how I'm combating it. With my workouts, of course. Um, with my mind thinking the way it is. As well as Miss T. Lovely. Just a second, her. First of all, let me tell y'all what I did. I was thinking in class today, I was like... I was thinking like Edna Moe from The Incredibles. I'm like, I want to just go like this to myself. Miss T. Lovely, get 
yourself together. I mean, get it together, girl. And um, uh, it's a day-to-day, moment-to-moment thing. So um, you guys know that I switched my workouts up. I'm still now concentrating on strength training with my cardio. Now, the last video you guys seen, I did have a day where I had did my regular cardio, but that was actually previously. So anyway, plan of action for this. And I'm going to let y'all go. If you're still here, I love you. Love you, love you, love you. If y'all ain't, all right, that's... You missed it. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am going back to my first love. First, what the, blah, blah, blah. I'm going back to my first love once again, and my first love is Tybo. Now, I have done. The last time I did my Tybo, I forget what week it was. I put, I find a video and I will put it here. Bam! That video has gotten like crazy views and I think it's just because it's top but people still doing people now Billy Blanks is still a bomb.com don't get it like Tamar said don't get it twisting uh don't mm. <laughs> um yes Missy Love watch all kind of reality y'all want to see that side of me just ask but anyway um I'll wrap this up here but I uh, have been waiting for this to go down for a long time it's uh Billy Blanks Tybo DVD now it, they, they've um put it from VHS to DVD um, and it's very expensive. It's on Amazon. It went from 90 to 50. When it went to 50, Miss T. Lovely jumped all over it. I was like, yes, yeah, son. Ordered it. I think I paid 60 something with shipping and handling. And yes, I'm going to be doing the the Tybo a lot. I'm incorporating it into the strength training and the cardio that I always to do. So yes, that's my plan of action. Um, I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say, or oh, one last thing, I did not get my fill. I had rescheduled my fill because I thought I needed one um, because, like I said, my level of restriction varies. And I noticed two weeks ago when I had my, when Aunt Flo was in town, getting on my nerves, uh, yeah, um, I was very loose for the first time. Usually I'm very nauseated during that time of month, like many of us gals. Um, I know I'm talking real fast in this video, still long. Um, yeah, I was eating a lot, so I tried to push it up. Now, I had to push it back because I got real tight. And, um, so yeah, I had to literally wait an extra week, so two weeks before I can get my fill up next Thursday. So, yeah. So anyways, family, thank you for your time. Your whole 12 minutes and 40 seconds so far. I greatly appreciate you all. Um, I love you so much. Thank you to all of you that 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 gave me love on FB. You know, if you didn't get to the end of this, I put a notation down below. You know, um, for those of you who seen that Misty Lovely was just getting tired. You know, I was already run down from what my body, my my, my mind has been doing. It's been on one son, and um, so now just to have that love and support, it, it just it moves my heart. So please. You know, you guys, if you understand where I'm coming from and you've been here, give me a feedback below. If you just want to laugh at me, that's fine, too. Um, <laughs> either way, I hope this helps somebody in the future. And to anybody in the future, I say you can't push past, push past this. And sometimes it's just about pushing through it to get to the other side because you have to have faith and believe you're going to get to your other side. For some reason, that little voice might say, I can't, I won't. But for some reason, when I say go, it can't argue back. And yeah, like I said, it might sound a little kooky, little crazy, a little nutty, but I'm getting to my other side. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to ever stop and give up on me. Um, I will succeed. I will get through. I will pull through no matter what may come my way. I will get to the other side. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I will talk to y'all later. Mwah!